Let's uh, get some reaction now and go uh, straight to NUM spokesperson Libowani Mamburu. Uh, Mr. Mamburu, I would like to wish you, of course, a Merry Christmas, but uh, very, very sad news at the loss of your comrade yesterday. Uh, and, and this comrade we're speaking about is not just a man who stood on the sidelines, uh, was he? He was at the coal face, he was on the factory floor, uh, he didn't sit behind a desk and uh, call out the orders from there. He was very much uh, on the ground with the workers, wasn't he? No, definitely, Gareth. Um, the NUM is, is deeply saddened and shocked uh, by the untimely uh, death of our General Secretary, Comrade David Sipunzi. You are absolutely right that uh, he was dedicated, uh, he dedicated his entire life to the service of the mine, energy, and construction workers um, in South Africa. And he was a firm believer in the rights of the uh, downtrodden and the, and the voice of the voiceless. I mean, this is the man who represented NUM members of the working class in multiple fronts. Like you said, he was one of the vice president of uh, our World Federation of Trade Unions, uh, which is based in Greece. So you can see that this is the man who was indeed fighting uh, in, 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 in multiple fronts. And, and also, he was also a chief ne negotiator in the ghost sector in South Africa. He was also recently in a, a, a chief negotiator at Glencore, where they concluded a very good um, uh, wage agreement there. It was also uh, just earlier this year, I remember uh, us covering the story that uh, Comrade Sapunzi was one of the most vocal uh, unionists about uh, how mining companies, uh, Lubawani was handling the COVID-19 crisis. He was very clear on the fact that practically uh, the social distancing on the factory floor and at those coal faces uh, just was not happening. And, and he was very clear uh, as, to, as to what he thinks needed to be done. Do, do you think he achieved what he wanted to as far as keeping workers safe in a time of mining and COVID? You know, during COVID-19, I remember also I attended several meetings with him uh, in, in different mining companies where, where he was raising the same issue that you, you, you are talking about. He, he did succeed, but it was not an easy thing because, as you know, that um, it was difficult for, for, for mining companies to adhere to COVID-19 regulations. And even now, it's still difficult. So it's, it's still a battle that is that is still that is what we are still fighting. Mm. And then he passed away fighting for that battle. So we have not really achieved uh, 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 what he wanted to achieve in terms of uh, mining companies uh, complying to COVID-19 regulations. He was certainly a man who was very very clear that. Uh, the unions and workers' rights was always bigger than him. He was not uh, there to try and, uh, and push his own agenda. Uh, NUM, he always recalls saying, was, was bigger than he'll ever be. And I imagine he would want the NUM to get back on its feet very quickly off the back of this tragic loss. So what is the NUM's plans in A, remembering, of course, Comrade Sapunzi, uh, but, but also making sure that the work he wanted to get done uh, is going to be achieved in 2021. Definitely, it, it is what the NEM is going to continue where, where he left off. Um, I mean, recently, uh, under his leadership, the NEM bought uh, a, a recruitment truck, uh, which was one of his objectives for, for 2021, to recruit more, more members in, in, in mining, energy, construction, and metal where the NUM has, has started to organize. So he bought a very, a, a very good, uh, um, uh, a very good uh, truck, which was going to be used, which is going to be used for recruitment. So it was, it was his main objective to make sure that the NUM grows and, 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 and go back where it, 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 it belongs in terms of, uh, of, 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 of getting more members and servicing, servicing them. I'm going to uh, pass on my condolences to you, uh, Libawani, also to the entire family of the NUM and the very, very tragic news of the passing of comrade uh, David Sapunzi yesterday. All the very best for 2021 as well. Thank you for your time in joining us here on ENCA.